so hello everyone today we are going to take a overview of google sheets and how to import html data into the google sheets it's a very important and useful feature of google sheets that we will be able to automatically extract data from websites which is stored in the form of tables so we will extract data from web which is stored in tables so we will go through this whole process in next few minutes so keep pace with us and be there till the last end of this video so let's start so what we'll, we will do is we will go to google chrome that is already open on the screen we will go to new tab then we will type here sheets google and here is google sheets then go to sheets my account is already logged in there so i am able to use that if it is not logged in then you can log in from your email id that is google email id that is same as gmail id so from here we can select this blank workbook so this is the blank workbook this is the same environment uh, like we are using in microsoft excel but the main difference here is that if you are taking or using microsoft office 365 there is some subscription fees for that but if you are using google sheets there is no subscription fees for personal use the second most uh, advantage is uh, advantage feature for this is that that uh, we can access it from online the same worksheet will be available on your phone also because it is stored in cloud google cloud the same like google drive that we use the data will be stored here so what we need to do here is that we will type is equal to then import html bracket open then this double colon then it is asking for url i have already opened one website that is companies ranked by market care so here is the url so we will copy that url and i am going to paste this url into this we will close the bracket uh, double colons then the query in the query we will type table then comma because we are going to extract data from table then which table table number one table number two or table number three so in most of the websites the data is generally stored in table one so uh, i am not going into the details like how to find out the table number but for the time being for hit and trial uh, i will use one then we will close the bracket and we will hit the enter then it says it's loading now the data is there now if you look at the website that we had opened this was the website and this was the table the rankings were like this apple saudi aramco microsoft alphabet amazon and all these things the same data have been exported there so whenever this data will be updated on that website it will automatically be updated here also we can do one more thing like we will go to the file and settings in the settings in the calculation tab we can change this recalculation on every change in every minute if we do this and save settings then every minute the data will get updated automatically so this data is not that dynamic so we will take one more example we will add another sheet and we will import data from icici direct website this is the ICIC direct website and this is the stock market data for nifty option chain we will copy the url from here control c and we will paste the url here 
don't uh, like forget to subscribe and press the bell icon if you like the video and please be there till the last if you want to watch the same information in the same video in hindi the link is available in the description also you can like avail that facility also so we will press comma in query we will write table then table one then bracket close and then we will hit enter now see what's happen like this the whole data from this website whatever is there is now here so we can see the whole data is there now as the market hours are closed for now when the stock market will open at 9:15 in the morning whenever this data will change on the stock market this will be automatically updated here now one disclaimer is there like uh, if you use microsoft excel then we have to make some web queries to like import data in google sheets there is a direct function to import that data and which becomes very handy now uh, what uh, one uh, more thing that i will leave open for now is that this option chain data is for 29th of september like there are many options if i choose 6th of october 2022 the data will change but my data here my data here will remain for 29th september only because of the url that i have selected in the next video if you want that please do comment uh, tell me in the comment section we can make it dynamic also and where the data will get automatically updated we will uh, make some selection menus from where we will select the data and the url will get changed automatically and the data will get extracted according to that url only so i can make that video also please let me know in the comment section whether you want that video or not for the time being this is the crux of this video and if you like it please subscribe the channel and do like the video and share with your friends thanks a lot thank you